the actress is reflecting back on an unscripted moment during the 2002 Oscars when she was presenting an award with her husband at the time, Ryan Philippi. I don't know why I said that wrong. It's because it's the way it's <laughs> the way written. It's yeah, the Ryan Philippi. Take a look. And the Oscar goes to. Let me read it. Can I read it? <laughs> you make more than I do. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> well, here's what Reese said about it on the HFPA in Conversation podcast. Take a listen. So I was a little bit flummoxed in the moment, too. There's so few women that make a lot of money um, that sometimes they're shamed for it. And sometimes they are um, expected to give more and do more and be more. I think it all gets back to the point that we need to talk. You know, women need to talk about money and how they made money and not feel ashamed of it. Yep, and so the question is, are women who make more money treated differently? Are they expected to do the more, the same, especially by their partner? Is there a double standard? Erica, you are shaking your head vigorously. What are you thinking? Oh, yeah, women for sure are expected to do more if you have any level of success. Um, you're, you're expected to not be the nurturers and providers of your household, but also nurture the entire community. Um, there's an idea that a successful man is considered aspirational. A successful woman is considered unrelatable. And that is an issue because we live in a society where we don't necessarily have the male, female uh, provider for the male and the woman's taking care of everything at home. That's not really the norm as it used to be. So when we have situations and people are talking about women's equal pay and all of those things, it's very important because fundamentally you're setting women up for failure by not acknowledging that they may be the breadwinners of their households. When you look at, um, um, you know, non-for-profit organizations. My husband and I volunteer for one. It's always, can we get more men? Do you know any men who are available to help this cause? No one's ever like, put out a bullet point alert for more women to come in and, and, and help this organization. It's just the way that we have been programmed in this society. I just hate the fact that women feel shame, and I get that. I would feel embarrassed too, and I don't want women and myself to feel embarrassed. I wanna feel empowered when I make money. I want my daughter to feel empowered when she makes money. We gotta change that with society. I just think it's a pride thing with men. I don't know, maybe you look at it from a woman's point of view and I don't see that, but for men, I think it's a pride thing to wanna to take care of their family. Now, me growing, I'm 42 now, and a lot of barriers that I broke within myself are with my ego and my own pride. If my wife made more than me, I'd have no problem with that. And she knows that, and I know that. I, and I, w I would crack that joke and think it's okay on stage because we have that relationship, right? But I am all for, if you do, if you make more money than me, you should do more than me. I don't care what your gender is, I don't care what your skin color is. If you make more than me, you should do more than me. That's Brandon, the way it should be. what do you think? Be. I just think financial freedom is the key. I, I think that the, pan, uh, the pandemic has shown us that it really doesn't matter who makes what. It just goes, it, we, all people care about is if they're able to provide for their families a, as a whole. Yeah, when you break it down, that is all that matters right now. 2020 has been a challenging year to say the least. We want to thank you for spending your time with us. From all of us here at DBL, we want to wish you a happy holiday and a healthy new year.